What's going on everybody? It's Brian for jailbreakzone.com and in this video I'll be showing you iOS 4.3 beta 2 jailbroken running on my iPhone 4. And what's different than most people's copies of 4.3 beta 2 is that, well, for one, this removes the UDID check that iTunes does and I've also enabled four and five finger gestures. So for example, if I open up settings and use four fingers, I could just move up. Oops move up. Well, once I get a uh, steady platform here, if I use four fingers and go up, I will get to the multitasking dock. If I use five fingers, it will go back to my home screen. You can see that I have a multitasking gesture toggle right here. So that's pretty cool. Works very well. Uh, the iPhone 4 screen, it, it, it is pretty cramped, but it does work very well. And I haven't been using my home button in quite a while since I've installed 4.3. I've also enabled um, the side switch setting, so you could use your mute switch for the lock rotation or the mute switch like you normally would. Then also if you use uh, lock rotation and go to the button here, it'll say mute on or mute off, so it will still silence your device if you use the multitasking dock button. So that is pretty nice. I'm just used to having my switch be the mute switch, so I'll just leave it there. Go back to my home screen. And so far, 4.3 Beta 2 is running f very well. I'm very satisfied. It's very stable. Um, people, are, people usually tend to stay away from betas because they're betas. There's usually bugs. But I haven't really ran into any big problems. Um, like I said, it's very stable. This is a jailbroken copy. I do have Cydia and some other apps installed. Of course, you see install this, but hopefully you guys know that I only use it for testing apps um, as well as, well, I primarily use it for my iPad where if I already own an iPhone uh, version of an app and I want to get the iPad version, that's my use for install this. But with that out of the way, um, you uh, there are a lot of jailbroken mods that don't work, such as Winterboard, 3G Unrestrictor, Byte SMS, and QTweeter. Those things will either freeze your device or make it go into safe mode. So I had to uninstall those, but PDANet, Installus, and uh, iFile seem to work fine. And so does SB Settings. I was pretty, I was pretty happy to see that one work. And also, if I go back to my lock screen, you can see that... Lock info works perfectly. This is lock info 3.0. The public beta works perfectly here. Um, if I clear all my notifications out, go back into um, what was I going to show you guys? Oh, I was going to show you the sort of stability of 4.3 at the moment. So if I bring up my multitasking dock, you can see that I have a number of applications running in the background. Not a whole lot. Um, let me go over to Twitter. You can see that it came up instantly because it's backgrounded and it works fine. Let me switch over to uh, Safari. You can see that I have four tabs here and I could instantly start switching between them. The page does not reload either, which is nice. Here's our website. If you're wondering how I enabled multitasking gestures on my iPhone 4, you can head on over to jailbreakzone.com. I'll put a link down below that will take you to the how-to tutorial. And while you're there, we also have the custom-made IPSW files for 4.3 for the iPad, iPhone 4, and the fourth generation iPod Touch that are already jailbroken and already have the UDID requirement removed. So yeah, head on over to Jailbreak Zone for all things jailbreak. And that's it. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.